Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we will be talking about how to use the Easy SSH SSH client. So Easy SSH is pretty easy to install if you use elementary OS, it's in the App Center, but if you're using it on another distribution, you can build it from source or you can just do what I'm about to do, which is to download it from Flatpak. So to get it from the Flat Hub store, open up your terminal and then you want to add this command here. It will look for a match. You can press the Y button to accept and it's going to download lots and lots of data. It's going to download the GNOME platform, GNOME locale. If you have an NVIDIA driver, it'll download this. It's also going to download the program itself and the locale. So just press yes, let it install, and I will be back when it's done installing. So now that the download is complete, we can open up EasySSH and start setting it up. So launch it, you can find it in your application menu. And uh, yours will look a little different uh, depending on you know what desktop environment you're using. I'm using KDE, so it's just using the default GNOME layout that it comes with, but if you're using something a little bit different, maybe you build it from scratch, it should look different. But to start off, you're going to need a, a new connection. And you can create a new connection with this or with this. So click create, and you're going to add a name. Now, before we get started, I'm not going to connect to an SSH server. I don't have one set up right this minute, but I am going to do localhost. It's the same thing, basically, just showing you how to set it up. So I'm going to name the connection. So let's go uh, test connection. Group, we don't need a group. Host, let's do localhost port 22. Username, Derek. And then we'll add the password. And then we should be able to do save. So once you've got everything set up, you can go ahead and connect to your SSH connection. And to do that, you select it on the side under host and then click the connect button. So just like that, I'm in my SSH server. Now I did a localhost connection. So localhost, localhost just means this computer in and of itself. So if we just do it in a regular terminal, it would be But, you know, that's just because I don't have an SSH server. If I did have one running, you could be able to just connect to whatever, just as long as you set it in the profile selection. If you want to disconnect, you can click the X button up here, and uh, you can delete the connection by clicking the Remove button. Easy SSH is something I highly recommend if you don't want to remember and uh, manage a bunch of different SSH identities. Maybe you don't want to deal with it. Definitely the easy way to go about things. More information on this is in the article link below in the description. Please check it out. I will see you guys in the next video.